Now that we're connected to our Pet Tutor tap button, you can see, first of all, that the slider says connected and is showing in green, but I can also test it by the sound, so press once. My phone triggered, gave me a sound, a clicker sound, and I can tell that the tap button is connected to my phone. Now what we want to do is connect the feeder so that we're able to feed um, using our tap button. So I'm going to first start off with pressing the power button on this side of the feeder. Feeder is turned on. Notice how I have volume coming from the feeder and from the phone. Um, I actually only want volume coming from one. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the volume on the feeder by pressing the volume on the side of the feeder. Now I am going to go ahead and connect my feeder. So feeder is showing up on the connect devices screen. Similarly to the tap button that we just did, I'm going to press that slider. It should take a minute and then it should say connected. Um, so now both my tap button and my feeder are connected. I can start training down here at the bottom of the screen. And that will take me to the training mode screen. I've got my feeder and my tap button visible. I'm going to press once on the tap button. And my feeder should fire. And that's it.